Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Moise over here. Okay, first of all, Happy New Year's. I know it's like already um, late of January. It's almost February. It's kind of crazy because this is my first video and it's already going to be February. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my January favorites of 2017. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with skincare. I only have one skincare product that I've been liking this month. Um, which is the Nivea Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream for combination skin. This is how it looks like. I just like using this before I prime my skin because I, whenever I get out of the shower, I, I always get, my skin's always dry. And then I have to moisturize first and then I like to do my primer and all that. I don't normally like to moisturize my skin. I used to think that moisturizing your skin made your skin more um, oily, but it's actually the opposite. Neglecting to moisturize your skin actually makes it more oily because it's just like dying and trying to reach out for oil. So there's that. Moving on to beauty products. I have been loving my Black Beauty Blender sponge. Um, I really like it because I can't really see how dirty it is. I mean, you can still see how dirty it is, but it's not that obvious. I haven't been using a beauty blender in a while, but um, it feels really good to finally use it again. You know, the pink one, it can easily look disgusting, but the black one can just maintain like this for a while. And then another beauty favorite is the Stila um, Correct and Perfect All-in-One Color Correcting Palette. And I really like this because it has different um, tones. It has like a peach color to like correct um, your under eyes and then an orange color correct like all those dark blue purplish tones and then a green one to color correct red tones I have a lot of redness too so this is really good and then they, ha they have like two colored powders which is like a normal powder and then like a kind of like a lavender lilac colored powder powder I don't really know what that's for probably for highlighting I'm not sh so sure but I re I've been really liking this and then the next one is a um, is a contour and highlight palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm not really into the contouring colors um, just because I think they're so powdery and it just it breaks up so easily just because they're so um, soft and I don't I don't know I'm just not so into the colors like the middle shade is like a little bit too warm. The one on the left is a little bit too light for me. And the one on the far right is a little bit too dark. But I do like some... I, sometimes I like using it. Like sometimes it has its purposes. But I don't really prefer to use it every day. I like these three shades. I like this peachy shade. It's good for your under eyes. And so I really like these colors. Not just to highlight under the eyes. But also to highlight my nose. I never really liked um, highlighting my nose bridge. But I like highlighting my um, nose tip a lot because it makes it stand out more but not as like how, how you would do it with a shimmery highlight if you highlight your nose it'll look too oily and I don't like that so I just like the matte ones to highlight my nose and I think it's a better option if you're super super oily so the next one is a highlighting powder so this is the max mineralized skin finish in the shade soft and gentle I really like this because I've always used this like for the past two years and I like how um, natural it looks most highlighter, highlighters that companies release nowadays they're just really blinding and sometimes you don't really want to go for that look every day um, sometimes I just prefer for a more natural look it's kind of like a champagne color and it suits a lot of skin tones and it's pretty much versatile and the last highlighting powder is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Skin Frost in King Tut. It's very blinding. I, I know I said um, about the previous product that um, that's not what I like for an everyday look, but sometimes I do like that for maybe like for a night out with my friends. I like how golden it is, and I think it suits my skin tone pretty well because I'm pretty um, tanned and I have a pretty much golden undertone. And I think it's just a beautiful color on me because it makes me look very warm and very healthy. So I, I like it a lot and it just it slays so much. And then I've been loving the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. It's an old mascara. I don't know if they still sell it in Brunei. But um, I don't use this 
I mean, I use this every day on my eyelashes, but I also use them on my eyebrows. I like setting my eyebrows with this because I like how dark it makes my eyebrow hairs. I've been loving dark eyebrows. I don't know, I've just like look, having my eyebrows looking more bushy lately. And I've been loving this lip combination. This is the Kat Von D um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. I like this a lot. So I've been using this like pretty much every day. If you see me wearing lipstick, like pretty much in public or Instagram, this is what I'm wearing. Um, sometimes I like wearing this alone, but sometimes there are days where when I like my lips to look a little bit more glossy. And I use the NYX Butter Gloss and Preline. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I use this on top of Lolita. And it's a great combination. It's pretty much the same color, these two. Oh, last but not least, my NARS Radiant Concealer in the shade Ginger because I've been loving a lighter look under my eyes lately rather than matching my skin tone. I don't know why. Um, probably because I'm so into K-pop nowadays. So we're done with the beauty favorites. Now we're moving on to fashion favorites. So I've been loving chokers lately. I've been loving this choker. This is from H&M. Um, I got this back in Jakarta. It's pretty much just a ribbon choker and it's pretty thick and it just covers my whole neck. And then I also like this one. This is from Stradivarius. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But I got this in Jakarta too. It's a velvet choker um, and it's like a dusty pink color. I really like the color. I also like the size of this choker because I feel like it just suits my neck just really well. Because I have a pretty short neck so I don't like wearing like chokers like this all the time. I like wearing this for like photo shoots but not really to go out because it's not really comfortable. So chokers must have. The next favorite accessory is my Hermes belt. Um, this is my dad's Hermes belt. I don't really know I honestly don't know if this is authentic or not, but you know, um, fashion isn't really about, you know, how much money you'd spend. Okay. And then the next fashion favorite is this beret. I got this in KK. It's a red colored beret. And basically, I got this at this store. It's called A Dot Studio. I think it's a Sabah brand. They make their products in Korea and then ship it to Sabah. I think that's how it works. I, but I really love their style. It's very, um, Korean aesthetic and I've been loving that lately. So I got this one. It says rustlers I, I think it looks really cute with my new um, Fringed hair style that I'm going for. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's that it's from a dot studio So the next product that I've been loving is also this pink cute cap with an orca or whale with I don't know kind of like a unicorn kind of I don't know, but it's really, really cute. Um, it's a pink cap. This is from um, a local Brunei company. It's called Vixim, I think. I think it's really, really cute, and I think it looks cute with my hairstyle, too. It's a very Korean aesthetic. Okay, so the next one I've been loving are fishnets. Fishnet socks are like, I don't know, I've been loving this trend lately. Like, not even just socks. Even fishnet tights, I've been loving that. Um, I don't know, I think it's really cute and people seem to hate it. I don't know why, but I really, really love it. So I got these from um, H&M and KK. I don't know, I've been so into girly socks. These are furry socks from H&M too. Um, this is a black pair. It comes with a black and white pair, but I left my white pair in my friend's house, aka BuddyBoo83. Um, yeah, I leave my stuff there all the time. But yeah, I hope, so. I hope Arif gives me back those socks because they're too cute for me to lose them. Well, I've been really loving socks lately. The next fashion favorite are my Birkenstock sandals. I've been loving these white ones that I got when I was on my KK trip. Um, yeah, basically these are just basic um, white Birkenstocks and I've never really owned one. These are really nice. So I got this back when I was in Jakarta. These are loafers that I got from Zara. Um, I've never really owned loafers, so I'm trying to like dig in with my style and this is what I've been loving lately. I've been using this a lot. Um, it has like really cute tassels and it's basically, I think it's like a suede material. Yeah, it's, it's suede and it's bas it's not really black, it's more of a navy blue kind of color, but it almost looks black and I don't know, I just really like it and I've been using this to weddings and also like dinners. I don't know, I think 
it's just it's really cute moving on to the next fashion favorite which is this hoodie right here this is from uh, H&M this hoodie it's basically a pink oversized hoodie I love it so much because it's so over oversized but it cinches in on my wrist just well that it makes um, it makes the sleeves look baggy in a way if that makes sense but I just like how it looks um, at the front it says it says tell me something new and then at the back it says tell me something new same old same old story but I don't know what that means but um, I don't know I just like it because it's pink so yeah basically that the last fashion favorite is this leather jacket from H&M and I've been using this um, surprisingly a lot in Brunei but I'm, I don't really use it a lot in public like most of the time I use it like during photo shoots or um, parties but like you know it's appropriate parties surprisingly it feels really comfortable using the, a leather jacket in Brunei this is from H&M I've always wanted a, a leather jacket like in this kind of style, this kind of like motor biker style. I like tucking it in. Like I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been tucking in jackets and I don't know, I feel like that can be a trend. And and I don't know, I think it's a really cute look. So I've been doing that a lot lately, tucking in jackets. I actually got this on sale. Um, it was discounted to $80 in when I got it in Jakarta. but. I guess it was more expensive, like maybe over a hundred, and I think that's normal for a leather jacket to be for it to be priced like over a hundred. But I got this for eighty dollars Brunei, and I think that that's not bad at all. Now moving on to random favorites. So um, the first thing I want to mention is um, Chetramu. I think they make the best Thai milk tea. Uh, it's a new. Thai milk tea place in Brunei that just opened. I think about I think about last month. I think and I've been loving their Thai milk green tea. No, their milk green tea. And I don't usually like green tea or anything that's matcha. I don't know. Those two are the same thing. But I don't normally like them. But this is amazing. And this this is this is empty. But. I don't know. I I'm really into it. Like it's really refreshing, and I just like how sweet and refreshing it is. It just it's nice to drink it on a hot day. As you know, Brunei is hot all day, all year round. Um, I've been loving some Korean music as well. I have been loving. Um, uh, I have been loving Big Bang's latest album, which is called Made. No, I don't wanna go too fast. No. I don't know. I've been like I've been in in a Korean phase lately. And so yeah, that's just to name a few. And I've been really loving Taeyeon. Um, Tian is from a girls gen the girls' generation group. Okay, so that's just to name a few of my favorite K-pop music. My current favorite um, K dramas are well, both of them already ended, but it's Goblin. Oh my god! Um, so basically, Goblin. For you guys that that don't know, Goblin is about. Um, Kind of like a warrior, but um, he's cursed to be immortal, so he has to to live through his life, watching all these people die and the people that he loves die, and then the only way for him to die is to find his goblin bride, and only the goblin bride can take out the sword that is that he's cursed with, and take out the sword, and then he'll become ashes. I mean, I finished that series just last night, and I almost cried. Well, I was crying. And then, um, yeah, but Goblin is a must. So I've been loving, oh my god, this one's my favorite, Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Joo. Oh my god, Jin Hyung. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's just like a really, really cute K drama. I don't know. Um, it's just, you know, American series and Korean series, they're not the same at all. The vibe that K dramas give, 
it's just so magical. I don't know, it just makes me like, it just touches my heart. And I don't know, sometimes I feel like American series, they're just a little bit too vulgar for me. But if you like that, then I guess, you know, whatever. But I don't know, I think I'm kind of like, I don't think it's a rut. I don't think I'll ever, you know, move on from, you know, K-drama or K-pop or whatever like that. My favorite game app has been Hop. I don't know, it's just, it's really, addictive game and um, I don't know I like whenever I don't have Wi-Fi or credit to like text anyone or like do anything with my phone this is just all I do and I don't know it's just like a really strategic game strategic it's just I don't know it just it just makes me move faster with my fingers but yeah basically there are platforms and you cannot um, fall off the platforms and when you hit the middle it basically um, the platforms get bigger so and it just goes on until you go up as high as you can with your high score so my high score is 308 um, yeah I don't know I suck at it but yeah basically that is it that is oh yeah I have one more fashion favorite so my favorite accessory has been this cute furry black backpack from Stradivarius um, I don't know, I got this in Jakarta, um, like me and my friend got matching matching backpacks, like something, yeah, we got these, I mean, she got a baby pink one, I got a black one, and I don't know, I think it's just so cute, uh, let me open up, and this is my next favorite accessory, this is from Pull and Bear, I got these shades um, from Pull and Bear in Jakarta, and I don't know, I think it's really cute, it's like pretty much, it's rounded and it's baby pink, and it's a bit tr translucent. Um, the frames are a little bit translucent, but yeah, I really like it. And that's how it looks like. So yeah, that's basically all my favorites this month. That was quite a lot. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I promise I'll try to be more active this year. Um, keep in touch with me. Um, so there's my Twitter and my Instagram, Snapchat. Is that all? I think that's it. Yeah, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. Woo! That was a long video.